I like hummus because it's good for all sorts of occasions. A fun dish for parties, a healthy late night snack or a great on toast breakfast. Let's get started with the ingredients. As you can imagine, you need chickpeas. I used almost a pound or 400 grams of frozen chickpeas. But you can use canned or dried. If you get dried, you need to soak them overnight and boil them. Then you need one big lemon, ground cumin, sweet paprika, two cloves of garlic, olive oil, tahini and salt. We start by putting the chickpeas in a pot with hot water and let it boil for 15 minutes at medium heat. Then drain the water and let the chickpeas cool down. For a good and smooth hummus you need to take the skins off. I choose to clean just half of the chickpeas because I like my hummus more chunky. Peel the garlic and put it in a preheated pan where we cook it for 3 minutes on each side at medium heat. We do this to lower the garlic intensity and give it a charred taste. If you want to have more garlic flavor you can skip this step and put the garlic uncooked. Roughly chop the garlic, put the chickpeas in a large bowl, cut the lemon in half and squeeze it over the chickpeas. Then add half a teaspoon of cumin, 6 tablespoons of tahini, the garlic, a teaspoon of salt, 5 tablespoons of really cold water and 5 tablespoons of olive oil. Blend everything together until you get it as smooth as you want. I prefer to use a hand blender because it's easier to control the consistency of the hummus. Now put it in a nice bowl and add a good amount of olive oil over it. But this is how I like it. You could add less olive oil. Then sprinkle the paprika over or sumac. I didn't find sumac because stocks are limited during this pandemic. That is it. Enjoy this easy hummus with your family and friends. It's a good dish to eat any time of the year. But especially great in the summer with fresh veggies or in the cold season with warm pita. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video press like and subscribe to see more videos like this. Let me know in the comments if you have questions or how your easy hand blender hummus turned out when you tried it at home.